Hey, welcome back, YouTube. This is MTG Moxman. Back from my regular house, where filming is much easier and better, the internet speed is faster, and I can get things done for you in a family speed. All right, so here we have here, uh, we're going to open up a couple of uh, pre-release kits, and of course, the second box, as we talked about. Now, let's hope we get some awesome stuff like we did last time, because that was pretty impressive. I was very happy with my box opening. Even though it didn't upload well, I got some amazing cards. I was very happy. So, if you're new to the channel, please remember to hit subscribe. It doesn't hurt you a bit, but it sure helps out me in knowing my viewership is growing. And remember, it doesn't cost anything. You just hit subscribe button and, and everything goes well, and, and that's why it's awesome. So, please remember to do so uh, if you like the content that I'm providing. And if you don't like it, subscribe anyway, because it makes my life better. All right, guys, so here we go. Uh, we're going to start with the two pre-release kits, then we're going to go ahead and go to the box. Now, I will be doing this uh, much faster than I did the other day. Uh, now, I have some more pre-release kits, but we're going to open those. I'm uh, putting them on the side here. We're going to open those at a later date. So, uh, you know, don't, don't stress. I'm going to get it done for you. We'll do it this week, though. And I hopefully... I don't know how I'm going to do it with the bag here and try to... No, I'll tie it up at the end. Sure, I will. Okay, box number one, pre-release kit. All right, here we go. There we go. Come on, baby. Now, the only thing I'm afraid of is hitting my camera and knocking things over, but it should be okay. That's right, this is all going to the floor, isn't it? All right. So, pre-release kit number one. Now, oh, look at that. Loris of the Dream Den foil. Woohoo! I will take that for my pre-release. Very nice. Very nice indeed. This is this is starting off pretty uh, pretty awesome, I gotta admit. Uh, I find the dice kind of regular, guys. Nothing special, to be honest, as far as I'm concerned for the dice, but, you know. Now, all my rares should fit in one of these pre-release kits, so I'll put that to the side. Alright, I'm gonna move the box over here for a minute so we can start on the first six packs. Uh, now, I've done this through my microphone, so let me know how it sounds. I haven't been using it, but somebody had commented that the background noise in my house sometimes, right, can be quite um, quite bothersome. So let's see if this works out a little easier for everyone. All right. So here we go. going to go right to the uncommons. I guess commons I have to pile somewhere, though. I probably should have done this differently. That's right. Commons can go over there. All right. Uh, Tyranith Rex, Majestic Oriacorn, back for more, because yes, we are back for more. Oh my god, another Orion. Man, I'm getting a lot of this card. I hope this thing shoots up in value, because I am getting this one quite a bit. Uh, we got a foil, lead the Stampede, and then a couple of no-namers. Uh, I have to separate this somehow, so let's see here. Three can go over there, hold on. Foils, rares, and uncommons. All right. Hopefully you guys can see that all on camera, not too shabby. These packs can go down there. Get to our next one. Oh, I love the alternate artwork, I gotta be honest. It's just because it's new, it looks unique. I hope they don't overprint this stuff um, and start doing it for every set because it'll just ruin it. If they leave it as a one-off, it's going to be beautiful uh, for the future value and for people to remember it. Uh, offspring, <laughs> nothing great there. Uh, you know, it's not a horrible card, but come on. I just, you know, doesn't do that much for me right now. Now, it could have a use later, just, yeah. So, yeah, like I was saying, I hope they keep this to a nice, a nice thing of just doing it this one set. Maybe, like, you know, five years from now or something. All right. Ah, Crystal and Giant, it's a good card. And human token, and the swamp. I mean, the swamps are pretty. The lands do look nice, guys. Don't get me wrong, but I mean, they don't. Um, they don't jump out and scream. Oh my god, I must have them because you know. I'm glad they're not trying to make them full art and stuff again. All right, ah, another Volpa key. Eh, it's okay. Artwork doesn't really get me. Swallow hole, ivy elemental, storm, cap, cap rider, cap rider. Oh my god, guys, that's another Orion. In my two booster box things, I've, like this one here, the pre-release kits, I have like four of these things. Uh, Dark Bargain. Alright, we got two packs left in this pre-release. This has been crazy already, man. I got Orions coming out of everywhere. 
I definitely, I guess, can afford to build a Orion deck, right? Okay, let's see here. Oh, I like another alternate, the uh, Trumpeting Gnar. Hmm, Liger. Crystal. Uh, the Ozioth. Oh, I got a foil uh, Dire Tactics. I got quite a few uh, things in here, didn't I? Got like three, three uh, foils right. Alright, here we go. Last pack on the first pre release kit. Alright, we got uh, Migratory Great Horn, which I like. Don't care about you. Don't care about you. This is seeing a lot of play, but, you know, it doesn't grab me. Unpredictable Cyclone, eh, it's a lot of text to read. I haven't really bothered trying to get the card to work for me either. All right, so that was number one, and I'm pretty happy with the uh, contents. I'm okay with what I got, especially the, uh, the, the Luris there. That's pretty awesome. Already, by the way, in case you didn't see the new uh, ban list, guys, this is already banned today in Vintage and Legacy and stuff. Just because there's so many ways of abusing that card. Because <laughs> so many things cost uh, two, right? So funny. But it's okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll survive, I think. Oh, that was very funny, though. All right, next one we got uh, beautiful green dice. Those can go up there. We got a whirlwind of thought. Yeah, it's fine. All right. And we'll go for our next six packs before we hit the booster box. I know, we're getting there. We're getting there. All right. So let's skip through all the commons. You know, I got to remember those. There can still be these guys. I like them. All right. We got a wolf bear. We got a Ketra crystal. We got a flame spilling out everywhere. Poor flame spill. Okay, Hunted Nightmare. Now, again, it's a 4 5 for only three guys. Kind of reminds me of Jujan Dijin in some ways. And it has Menace, right? Uh, you can get this out early and just wreck people. So it is going to see play. Especially in uh, mono black decks, you're going to see it do stuff. Easy to get out. There's cards that mutate at four. So, you know, think about putting that in the deck. It will do well. Full Keat. Boot Nipper. That's funny, eh? A Boot Nipper. All right, Regal Lyasaur. Eh, that eh, doesn't do much for me, I'll be honest. That's a big creature. Crystals, I actually have a couple of decks using them. Uh, okay, here are the Orphan Guard. Orphan Guard, yep, you can stick around. You're, you're still only 3 for 3 3, and you give all kinds of bonuses. You're going to see play as well. I don't know if their value will be high, guys, but they will see play. So keep that in mind before you get rid of stuff or sell it off to a store. Uh, you might end up keeping some of it, so keep it in mind. All right, we got... Uh, what was that? Uh, sorry, sorry. I was almost skipping on comments here. Reptilian. Proud Wild Bonder. Ivy Elemental. Oh, we got a, we got a rare. Uh, sorry, a foil behind it. Emergent. And then... Oh, isn't that pretty? Uh, foil Rare of Lutari, the Spell Chaser. Very nice looking foil, guys. Goes over there. And we still have three packs left, man. This has not been bad at all. I got no complaints here. Eee. All right. We're going to go straight to oh, the Mysterious Egg. That will see play too. I know it's just a common, but Mysterious Egg is a good card. Zero, two for one. It can get pumped pretty easily. The Gnar will be okay. Flame Spill. Deals 4 damage to target creature, exec damage to the controller. It's not bad. Uh, especially if you hit a small creature, you can do like 1 to a creature and then 3 to somebody. That's not that bad. Uh, I've seen this used as well. Oh, I like Triomes. So I got the Ketra Triome, which is very nice. You can see it looks so pretty right there. Now, I don't think those are worth a lot right now. They're probably like 5 bucks, but I like them. I like the fact they give me lots of mana supply, like back in the day. I wish they only cycled for two, which they don't, but I wish they did. All right, uh, Void Beckoner. Okay, this this Basin of Remembrance, that is going to see play, guys. I've already seen it used a lot against me. 
I've beaten it a few times. Huh, Death's Oasis is fine. All right. So, last pack of our pre-release kit. Now, I'll have to speed this up to keep this video to that 30-minute period, but just saying. Oh, oh. All right. Avian Oddity. Call the Death Dealer again. Same thing to get Lurus back and, and three or less things. <laughs> it's going to see a lot of plays in Uncommon. Crystal. Oh, my God. Another Lurus. Man, I'm getting Lurus and like everything, too. Awesome. And then, oh, I got a foil again. Easy Prey. To start a creature with Converter Man cost two or less. And a Lurus. Sweet. All right. We are going on to our booster box. Let me just get these commons out of the way. They can just go sit over here in a pile. Because we're going to have a lot more. These rares. I'm just going to... You guys don't really see them again. I'm up there. Foils I'll put sideways. And uncommons can sit in a separate pile off camera over here. Okay, now, I had the question about um, if these things can have... As far as I know, they can have every card, but because there's only one box topper and it's one card out of all of them, I think it'll be pretty rare to get anything half-decent, guys. So keep that in mind if you're hoping to get some cool Godzilla card or something. I heard Death Corona's crashing, too. People are losing massive money on that card, so... Hey, my box topper was sideways. We'll open this at the very end. Okay, so we got 36 packs here to bust open. We're going to have some fun here. Uh, now, I had a couple messages on my account. You guys can always reach out to me there at um, alana at hotmail.com, which is A-L-A-A-N-I-A -A -A at hotmail.com. Um, and I have some people who want to be opened on camera, opening a box of magic cards. And they're going to split the box. Uh, and they're going to go, what do you call it, 18 packs against 18 packs. Um, so I'll be doing that at some point this week. And I said, yeah, sure, happy to put that on camera. It'll be fun. All right. And yes, they're buying the box, but they're paying cost um, and shipping. I've agreed just to pay for free because I think it's fun to do. So I'm paying their shipping. So technically I'm losing like 20 bucks, but I don't care. It's going to be fun. All right. So let's start on the first stack of nine. All right. This is our first stack of nine. Right? Not nine, sorry. Twelve. I'm horrible at my math this evening. You gotta admit, that anticipates pretty cool art. That is pretty cool. Fire Prophecy seeing a lot of play. Alright. So, commons are down here. On commons and right here. Fight is one. Pouncing Shark. A crystal again. And the Danrith Magistrate. Now, your opponents can't cast spells from anywhere other than their hands. It's kind of a pain. It, it is a nice little control thing. Uh, I don't think it's going to be anything amazing, though. It's going to be a niche card for some decks, though. I think you'll see it having some play in some older series, though. <laughs> yeah, let's see here. Oh, another Cloud Piercer. I can go that pile. All right. Clash of Titans. Zenith Flare. I've seen that a lot. Uh, Idrathi Crystal. Oh, there we go. That Hunted Nightmare again. Oh, 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 oh. We have uh, Foil Narset Mythic. God, this comes off on camera pretty good, man. Still don't know why that camera does that weird autofocus thing sometimes, but still, it can go right there. Very nice. I should just stop opening the box right now. Right? Isn't that how the rule goes? <laughs> At least back in the day it was. All right, still going here. You know, so I'm going to start speeding up here a little bit. All right, we got the Regisaur, the Rex, Pepper Keat, Whirlwind of Thought again, and token and stuff. Yeah, I've been finding some pretty crazy stuff right now, but it's going to be good. All right. A lot of the decks are still where I thought they'd been, though. All right. Molark, Papa Keat. Uh, the Recluse card is good, guys. Mutate costs a little high, but he is good to get out early. Uh, okay, this this guy here has been good, too. If you mean the right deck, he has been good. Ooh, a foil. Beautiful Swamp. 
I know I have kind of a weird way of sorting. Certain mythics and rares go in a certain pile, and those piles end up in a different place in my binders or in collector little boxes and stuff. So I try to keep it a, a certain way so I know where my things are. That's me trying to be organized now, certain cards. All right, Monstrous Step. Primal Empathy. I'm feeling empathetic. Sanctuary Smasher. That's not very nice. Uh, okay, Quartz uh, Crasher. This guy is good if you can get him through and start building up your armies. Um, you got to find a way to just make him a little bit bigger, though. Oh, Majestic Oreo Corn. Very pretty. All right, we're still only in the first uh, thing here, but we're doing pretty good, guys. i got to be honest. That Stinger card is everywhere in these cycling decks, guys. Be aware of it. Uh, it can be beaten, but it's just such a pain. Migration Path is better than Citricon Root, just because of the cycling, by the way. Keep that in mind. Uh, Boneyard Lurker, great card, guys, because it does bring back a target permanent card from your graveyard, uh, which means you can build a Mutech deck that actually recycles itself in case people use cards to blow it up. I am working on one right now. It is not finished. It is playing uh, about a 30% win right now, but I'm working on it. Uh, yeah, I'll put him there. Uh, Bonders Enclave, you got to have it. If you're doing any any uh, mutate deck, guys, you need that Bonders Enclave in there to draw cards and to hold cards in your hand in case people nuke the board. Okay, keep that in mind. Yeah. Right. Sorry, may I jump too far ahead? No, sorry. Uh, Flourishing Fox, I'm seeing that one a lot too because it cycles and pumps. The Crisp of Course, Flamespill, we've seen so many times already. Classification, funny card. Uh, okay, Cavern Whisper, it's fine. That classification I've seen used in this deck that brings back permanence and stuff, and it just makes these guys monstrous for that one turn. It's very funny. If they can get it to work. Most times it doesn't work. You recognize it, you kill certain things. Mystic Sundial, Footfall Crater. Uh, Boon of the Wishgiver, drawing four for six is pretty pricey. Uh, so it's like drawing two for three, which I get it, but ee, cycling's nice though. Uh, Voracious Great Shark. Okay, I hate this card. Countering spells, and you get this giant shark just ticks me off. Uh, the Trumpeter. Just saying, I've seen that shark a lot of times mid game, and you're just like, just when you think something's gonna happen and it doesn't go through, you're just like, oh, I hate you, shark. I keep hearing the theory, the, the theme music for Jaws in the background. Dun, 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 dun. So how many people you think are still watching this video at this point? Think you have lost interest? Oh, Barrier Breach. All right, Offspring's Revenge again. I don't know. Just saying. I get the Offspring Revenge. Like, I get it. You can, you know, exile a creature. But I don't know. I don't always want my cards exiled. Uh, like this one because of the fact you can get a hex counter. Uh, sorry, yeah, like a hex proof counter on it. So I, I, I haven't really seen that much of it being played, but I think you will. That was the off thingy again. Man, I've seen a lot of that. The Aussie, the, uh, makes you want to use Karn's, uh, base and a lot of a whole bunch of small things. You can, like, pump up the, the counters, get a gem razor out, and just nuke somebody. That's how I feel. Just nuke it somebody. Uh, Void Beckoner, Dracus, Crystal. Oh my goodness, guys, another Orion. And we got a, a Man Several, which is like a cat. Wow, that Orion is everywhere. I'm telling you. Oh, 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 oh. Didn't do that bad. Hope Keep. Wild Bonder again. That's a big bear. The Basin. Talk about doubles, man. We just saw this. And we got Uncommon Blitz the Thunder Raptor guy. Come on. All right. Next Brick of 12. We'll leave the middle for the end. That's crazy. We haven't got a lot of Mythics, have we? Like one Mythic? It was a foil? That's crazy. It's not very many Mythics. All right. The Death Caller we already talked about. We're going to see that one. This guy, too. Seen him quite a bit of him. Ivy Elemental. Oh, got some of these boar things. Although, it is good because it lets you get two cards, but you get to go into your uh, library and get one. It's kind of cool to shift that out. But still, for four? I guess it's better than a regrowth from back in the day. Oddity. Trumpeter again. Uh, cunning Knight Bonder guy. We got the uh, Latari guy again. Regular rare. Hey! 
Look at that, guys. Lutri and Lutri again. But, like, they're back to back in the same pack. So we got a rare one and then a foil. That's funny. That was funny. By the way, I told you, I don't know if you guys heard this, I'm very known for doing that in packs. I got, like, this magic touch where I start getting all kind of, I got, like, a Jace the Mind Sculptor, and then right behind it was the foil Jace the Mind Sculptor. One of those specialty series. It was very funny. Reptilian. And Dark Fang. Yadaro. I've tried to use him in a deck. I just don't have enough of them. I only have two. I need to get four. All right. Here, oh, here we go. Okay, Horn Last Mentor, Heater, uh, Mentor. Eh. All right, we got General Kudo of Danareth. Now, in a human deck, he's gonna be pretty good, guys. I'll be honest. Okay, and he can blow things up. He will be pretty good. So, keep an eye. I mean, he's gonna be a specialty card again, a niche deck, but he will see use. You know how Wizards are doing it. They don't like these weird flamboyant decks now. They like decks designed to go directly for a certain theme, right? I mean, these guys are starting to put slivers to shame. Oh. Uh, okay. Oddity again. Boneyard again. Uh, the Mamba. Ooh. Rigon Triom Full Art Alternate. It's so pretty. I love that art. You know what this reminds me of? You ever read the comic Sectars? They're like... They're kind of like a He-Man type figure from back in the 80s, but they were like alien bug guys. They didn't sell well because kids were kind of scared of them. Isn't that funny to think about? They were kind of scared. So, very funny. Oh, I have ruined opening this pack. My bad. My bad. Sorry. Sorry. All right. My bad. Didn't mean to. Didn't mean to. Oh, Pouncing Shore Shark. Alternate. Very cool looking. Empathy, Mamba, oh, uh, Savvy Triome, uh, Bloodfell Caves, and of course nothing. All right, Perimeter Sergeant. He's watching our perimeter, making sure things are cool. All right, Jubilant, Flame Spill, Cunning again. Hey, another Narset. All right, so we got another. Hold on, just show them up to you again. We all have a regular Narsat, which I'm totally cool with. So, we got one Mythic, one regular, one Mythic, one there. Uh, she's pretty good, but it's funny. It's, the mana combinations don't come up as much as you'd think they would. So you better build a deck to keep her alive, because when she comes out, she is target practice. Blitz. Oh, Orcos. The Apex of Forever. Very cool when that goes to your graveyard, you just get to bring it back. So his thing is, if he goes to the graveyard, you get to bring him right back, which is kind of awesome. All right, uh, guys, I wanted to keep this to under 30 minutes, so I am speeding up big time, okay? Bear with me here. Liger. Momentum. Raptor. Ooh, I love this guy. Snapped Axe. Apex of the Hunt. Look at that art. That card is awesome. My goodness, this was a good box, I think. I am liking what I see. Now, I know the values are going to fluctuate a lot right now, guys. So if you're going to sell some cards, make sure you get the names of the cards you sold in case you do want them back later. Ketra Crystal there. I'll make up a bronze. Uh, okay, this Lava Brink Venture guy. Yeah. Okay, we're down to 14 packs. All right, we're humming, we're humming. Uh, Subdial, Mentor, Unbreakable Bond, uh, Zidar the Dawnbreaker. I've tried to use that card. It is not working out for me, by the way. But still, it's 3-3 three, three for 3, guys. Like, you can't you can't knock that. It's still a great card for its mana cost. Um, and there are ways of getting that. You have to use it properly, but to use its ability. All right, Mentor, the savvy guy. Ivy Elemental, Shark Typhoon, which is kind of like Sharknado, which is kind of funny. All right, last brick of 12. All right, we're on this last brick. Whoop. Man, that Death Caller card. I'm going to see I've seen used a lot. Death Oasis. 
Man, that makes some great stuff, I'm telling you. And the art really is nice in these cards. I oh, sorry there. Owlbonder. That's not coming. Oh, there we go. No, no, there we go. Dire Tactics. Labyrinth Raptor. That's got Menace, though. So, Menace can be a real pain in the you-know-what. If you can use it properly and keep their creatures low and make them choose what they're going to block, it can be a lot of fun. Especially when a deck works for you, you know? Uh, fighting is one, of course. More Dire Tactics. I love this card, okay? I've used this to win so many games in my Mutate decks. I have four of those before the Asterix guy. Uh, you guys know how I feel about Runus Ultimatum. Great card. Great card. Runus does some serious damage if you can get it going. So, people can cry all they want when they are ruined. Okay, Flourishing Fox again. Lead the Stampede. Uh, General Enforcer. Oh, I love King Kong. You know, they didn't call it King Kong, but it's King Kong. We all we all know the truth. That's Kong. They can call it Kongula. They can call it what they want. It's still King Kong. We know the truth. Can't hide that from us. And the movie's coming out. Come on. It's all promotional. Smart promotional, but it's promotional. All right. Swallow me whole. Wouldn't like that. Uh, leave the Stampede. General Enforcer. All right, the Everquill. Um, it is a 4-4 flyer. I can give respect for that. Its mutate ability sucks, the fact it can, oh, it can come back from a graveyard. Come on. That is not a great mutate ability. I think it actually brings back a Phoenix card, but still. I guess it's meant for outside of this game, this type of format, when you can do a Phoenix deck. But still, come on. Uh, the Octopus is good. I mean, I'll be honest. It's the way it's going to be. All right. Next one up here. All right. There we go. There we go. Almost done here, guys. Pardon me. Dawnbreaker again? Seriously? In the same one? All right, we're down to the last four, guys. The last four. I can do this. And then the thing, I can do it. No, oh, clap your side. I can do it. I can do it. Ooh, Graduda. I hate this guy. That guy, the depths. I hate that card. I'm tired of seeing it. I know, I know, but I just don't like it. I know it's a good card. I just don't like it. And I don't have to like it. I don't like cards that can end the game instantly. And there's ways of pumping them out so fast that it's just ridiculous. Easy prey. Parcel beast. Oh, another uh, Trion. Awesome. I like that. Two packs with a minute and 30, and I still have to get in the box topper. We're rocking this. We got time to spare. We made it. We made it. Mentor, Calder, Grim Dancer. Uh, emerging again. Let me just, let me, oh, oh, I got things falling here. Things falling. I'm just neating up that pile. Oh my God, I'm wasting time now. Oh my God. Oh my God. Hold on. Hold on. Ah. Oh, Kinnon. Ah. Kinnon is good. Oh, foil classification is nice too, actually. Okay. Okay. Let me just straighten up our pile here for after. All right. Our foils are here. And I can get joined into this pile over here. Don't worry. Don't worry. I got this. Okay. And that's the other rares we did. Okay. Here's our box topper. The last one I'm going to be opening, so let's enjoy it. Ooh. Are you ready, guys? What do you think? What do you think? 
Oh my god, didn't I already get King Caesar in the last one? I got King Caesar again. Come on. I already had him. That's part two of the same guy. Anyway, thanks a lot for tuning in, guys. This is MTG Mox, man. Hope you enjoyed the video. Love producing it for you. Uh, please remember to hit subscribe if you enjoyed the content. I'd love to be showing you guys more stuff in the future. Have a great one. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. We'll do some other stuff this week as well as that special box opening. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye-bye.